Hello everyone, it's Annabella here. In this video, we will be taking a look at Abhishek Mahan and Manish Sharani's mutual relationship. I apologize in advance if I am not pronouncing their names correctly. This reading was requested from my first ever Super Thanks purchase, and I wanted to show my appreciation. I have absolutely no idea who these two are. I just went on Google to find a picture of them together and pull this thread. Remember, since this is a celebrity reading, the main purpose is for entertainment only. Please remain logical and respectful to me and other viewers. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, my strongest Claire is Claire Cognizant, so I won't be that descriptive on the emotion storytelling side of things. Rather, my reading will be more logical mainly based on the card's logic and energy. If you want straightforward answers, this is the right place. So now, let's get started. What's their mutual energy like? Six of Pentacles. From the get-go, I have a feeling that these two are friends. And I am assuming they work together because the Six of Pentacles tells me that their relationship is the sharing kind. They support each other and encourage each other whenever they face challenges. They protect each other when they feel like the other person needs protection. They are generous with each other, whether it is about spending time or sharing ideas and even feelings. This is a balanced relationship between two people who can work together and be each other's best partner, but not necessarily a romantic partner. From this car, I can only say work partner and best of friends for now. Page of Pentacles. How long have they known each other? Do they know each other from the past for a while now? On their growing journey, they often meet on and off as they continue to grow together, work together. They are on a journey together, but separate. However, because this is a page of pentacles, this page is very down to earth, grounded. He's not emotionally focused in a romantic way. If you are shipping these two, I do feel like one of them is not ready or in a position to sustain a serious relationship right now. This page prefers to keep things more professional as he generally is a character that is mentally not invested in romance. He is more invested in a long-term supportive partnership that is more focused on the pentacles energy, money, and career. King of Wands. Despite the initial strong grounding energies of the pentacle, there is still some kind of fire and passion between these two people. And this fire is quite strong. It keeps this relationship lit even if they don't always work together or see each other. I do feel as though one of them is especially more passionate towards the other person between the two of them, while the other one is a bit more closed off. I feel like it's the girl? Manisha? I don't know why when I see her in this relationship, I see more fire, which is odd because I would think the king of wands would usually represent the masculine energy. But again, according to my cards, this feels more like pure passion, at least for now. Three of pentacles. They really do have a lot of pentacles energy mutually. This makes me believe that they really ground each other in some way. But as this car is a car of apprenticeships, what they are doing is learning from each other and sharing their knowledge. And mutually, I feel like they both know that at least for now, there will not be anything past friendships between the two of them. They will remain friends, but nothing more. I'm sure the reason why these two were brought to me is because there are people who think they absolutely are lovely for each other. But relationships don't come from what people think. It has to come from the two parties. And I see nothing here right now besides a balanced friendship. No cards representing any feelings between them two. I'm sure there are feelings though, but it's just not enough to the point of identifying it as a romantic feeling. Justice. This is the only major arcana here, and as this is the major energy, this is actually really interesting. Justice is a woman who is a guardian of the karmic realm. Your actions will end up with equivalent results. Because of that, 
all of the four other cards in this spread make me feel as though this is just what this relationship will be like, whether you like it or not, because this is their choice. And listen, please understand, I am reading their mutual energy. I am not reading the full relationship reading, so I am not able to help you dissect their feelings. To understand why they come to be this way, what's going on in their internal feelings, it's best to check out their individual feeling. I just know from these cards that it is what it is. And even if there is chemistry, passion, or fire between two people, it doesn't necessarily result in a romantic relationship. However, while I have been reading many celebrity couples, I find that when a man and a woman work together, it's not uncommon for them to bring out a certain kind of chemistry. But they are the one who knows if these chemistries can come forth and become romantic or not. Anyways, for these two, the karmic justice is guarding them from romantic development, whether it be because of their career or whatnot. But as always, remember to ship logically. I'm sure you'll find it fun shipping a friendship too, right? And that is the end of this reading. Remember that tarot reading is based on energy, and as the interpreter of these energies, I may not be 100% accurate. Please remember to be logical, have an open mind, and keep yourself grounded with the information. If you're interested in buying a reading from me, please check out my description for my contact information, or visit my Etsy store, annabellatarot.etsy.com. I also accept payment and donations via PayPal. For pricing, please see my channel's description. Feel free to leave your request in the comments, but I will prioritize purchase readings and most popular requests that fit my interests. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day and see you next time.